I have often asked, what's the harm in a special education teacher not being in the classroom? Especially for self-contained kids. What's the damage or what's the harm if there isn't a certified special education teacher assigned to that classroom? I think it's especially detrimental to kids who are placed in self-contained classrooms. Special education teachers who I love are trained how to help our disabled students. So let's look at the numbers because people get numbers. On average, a school year is 180 days. Most school days are between eight and nine hours. So you're looking at 480 to 540 minutes a day that a student is during their learning time. My son's school is about 500 minutes a day because they're part way between the eight and nine hours a day. So over a course of 180 days of school, that's 90,000 minutes of a school day or 1,500 hours of school. So if you don't have a special education teacher all year to ensure that the IEP is being implemented, that FAPE is being delivered, you are denying a student 90,000 minutes of their special education time. That's sad. Very sad. In my son's case, he had no teacher last year at the start of the school year. They hired someone in late October, early November is when she started, but she wasn't a certified teacher. She wasn't a certified special education teacher. They claimed she passed the SPED test for certification, even though you can't take it until you meet certain criteria. She wasn't certified until the last 16 days of the school year. And by certified, she got her intern temporary special education license. That's good for a year for them to get their full certification. So she's still not fully certified. So over 90% of the school year, he had no special education teacher. So that means oh, from the beginning of the school year until that person got her intern certification, he missed 82,000 minutes with no special education teacher. That's 1,367 hours that, of his IEP that were not delivered. That is why it is so important that school districts properly staff their classrooms, especially special education. And I know people are gonna say there's a teacher shortage or there's a funding shortage in schools. No, there's not. If school district prioritize staffing classrooms appropriately, there would be the funding for it. Teachers would be appropriately supported and receive the proper compensation you wouldn't see a shortage. Some teachers don't want to work because they're not going to work for $35,000 a year and be treated like crap. They can make more money a year at McDonald's. So it's not a funding issue. It's a priority issue. And failure to properly staff classrooms is harming our students. Hope the numbers help you understand the big picture.